Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing a mediumship with DMX. So, I wasn't going to do this video, but I don't know, something just told me to do it. Maybe he's pushing me to do it, so I'm going to do it. I don't know what's going what's gonna to happen, what he's going to say. But... I want to give my condolences to his family, his 15 kids, his ex-wife, his fiance, especially the kids, because they lost their dad. Um, so the first thing I pick up is he's saying, I'm sorry I hurt everyone, but I'm at peace. So he's finally at peace. He feel like now he can rest. He been fighting for years. He been fighting for years, 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 years with his life. Childhood wounds turn into adult wounds. So he never healed his childhood. And yeah, so he was dealing with that. Let me see what else here. He told he told me something about a car. Some type of car. Maybe it may come out soon. I don't know. Some type of car I pick up. So his funeral is going to be like a party. Like everyone's going to be dancing, laughing, smiling, having fun. Like that's going to be like his funeral, his repast. People are going to have fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be an event. <laughs> it's going to be an event. Um, what else he saying? He feel like he feel like he really effed up. Like he feel like this is fucked up. <laughs> like he said, this is fucked up. He's saying to himself, this is fucked up. And he was so depressed. He was depressed. He was depressed before he died. He was really depressed. And he was sad. Like this man was sad. And he was questioning everything. I feel like at one point in his life, he wanted to commit suicide because the pain that he felt in his life, he couldn't take it anymore. I don't know if he wanted to commit suicide recently. I'm not sure. But I'm getting one point in his life, he wanted to commit suicide. He wanted to kill himself. And a lot of people been through what DMX been through, or even worse. So they know how it feels. What he's saying is, to everyone that's watching, he's saying... Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. Take part in activities, no matter how detrimental things could be. Enjoy your life. Have fun. That's what he's saying. Let me see what else. He keeps telling me about a car. I don't know. Something may come out about a car with him. Him and a car. Something about a car. I don't know. Also, he's saying... He was scared to love due to past issues, past trauma. He was scared to love. He was scared to love. And I get that he's an angel now. He is an angel. He got his wings. He's an angel. He was an angel on earth and an angel in heaven. And he feels free. He feels stable now. Um... But I feel like he's in a crossroad. Crossroad. I don't feel like he crossed over. I don't feel like he crossed over yet. I feel like he's in between here and and the other world. He's in between right now. I feel like it may take like two years for him to, like, permanently cross over. Some people don't cross over just yet. They want to stay because their family are hurting and they want to comfort their family. So sometimes they stay earthbound on this planet. I feel he hasn't crossed over yet. That's what I'm picking up. He also feels he was hard to understand. He feels no one understood him. No one understood him. No one. Just no one got him. Just no one. Even though he connected with people, he just feel like no one understands what I've been through. No one understands me. I'm misunderstood in this world. Um... What else do I get? Also, he was a man who had high standards. High, he was very high maintenance. As I'm getting, his expectations were higher than normal. 
in his life, he wanted affection. He wanted attention. He wanted his needs to be met. And a lot of people couldn't meet those needs. I feel he wanted to get married again. Well, obviously, because he had a fiance. But I feel like he really wanted to get married again. That's what he wanted. Let me see what he had to tell his fiance. His fa- his fiance worried about him a lot, and he felt like he had a he had chemistry with this fiance. He also feel like he also feel like the fiance also feel like he gave up. She feels damn. He gave up. He throw he threw he threw it in the towel. He threw it in the towel, and she felt like he had the short end of stick in life. He felt like, she felt like no matter. No matter what he was going through, he wasn't happy. Even though he proposed to this girl, he still wasn't happy with his own life. And that's sad. I'm getting something with his head. Something with his head. I'm feeling pressure in my head. So maybe he had a lot of headaches. So he was stressed a lot. Well, we know he was stressed. But something with his head. His head, his mental health, his head. His cranium. And sometimes he tried not to react, but he always reacted. He always reacted to certain situations. Let me see, what he had to tell his ex-wife, I think her name is Tasharia, Tashera. What he had to tell her? He had to tell his ex-wife... That he was wrong in the relationship that he had with her. He was wrong. Um, right now she's sad. She's really sad. She's going through it. She's really sad. And she's just trying to take it a day at a time. She's just trying to stay calm. Um, she feel like the sadness would never go away. She feel like the sadness would never go away. And he's telling her... It's going to be okay. Just worry about work, finances. Just worry about your money. Everything will be okay. You'll be stable. Um, I see her moving. Oh, she's going to move. I want to travel. Let me see what else you want to tell her. DMX, what do you want to tell your ex-wife? You want to tell her she don't have to worry about money. He wanna tell her she does not have to worry about money. Money will come. I feel like some money from the past, from his past. Some money from his past. She may get his money. Because obviously they have kids together, so she had to get her share. But some money from his past is gonna go to her. And I, I see some drama with the money too. I hope not, cause that's not cool. See some drama with the money coming up. Some money issues. Some drama with the money. I really hope he set everything in place where there's no drama with the money. <laughs> I hope he had a will. He seemed like a smart man. I feel he, he probably would have a will. But let's hope he do, and I hope there's no drama with the money, because I'm seeing some issues, drama with money. I'm seeing anything else, Jamex, you want to tell the people? He said he's okay. You don't have to worry about me. I'm okay. He's saying the other side is very lit. He's saying the other side is better than this side. This side over here, you will want to die. No, I'm joking. You don't, he, like, you don't want to die, but, you know, the other side is more better than this place that we are in right now the earth the 3d he said he loves it there <laughs> he's saying i should have died sooner <laughs> i guess everybody everybody when i do mediumship for my clients they always say the other side is better like the other side, of course the other side is better this place is crazy but they always say that the other side is better they always they always say the other side is lit the other side is 
way better. It's fun. It's cool, calm. Like this other side is so popping that you won't want to die to go there. That's what every time I do mediumship for my clients. That's, that's the pet. That's what they always say. Like the other side is so amazing. Anything else you want to tell them, DMX? He's saying, I cried, I cried, I cried my whole life. And now I do not have to cry no more. I'm so at peace, yeah, I don't understand. (laughs) I'm glad he's at peace. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I feel he's really happy. (laughs) He's saying this is the best thing that ever happened to him. Okay, anything else? Okay, now, nah, I'm about to go talk to him. Me and him about to have a conversation after I, I'm done this video because he's telling me some things about my personal life. <laughs> you know, I got to write this stuff down. <laughs> but um, that's what he says, guys. So I'm going to go talk to DMX real quick. I know your eyes sound a little kind of crazy, but he's telling me some things about my personal life. <laughs> that i would need to listen to but stay tuned for more videos guys make sure you like comment share subscribe make sure you comment below what you think about this video and make sure let's get to 2000 subscribers this is a whole family this is a movement this is the school of spirituality where you can learn things from me and if you want you if you want to read yourself purchase my deck a personalized deck where you can read yourself and you can read other people too. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. And I'll catch you guys later.